This is a mirror of We Do Not Consent, Ohio. These are truly troubling times, indeed. You know, th this whole Kanye West thing, and I I'm just going to start off with this one right here. You want to know my number one reason why I'm, I'm going to always be standoffish of Kanye West? And I'm not even going to get into some of this other stuff on why this is my number one reason. Prominence. I've seen and watched and heard veteran Christians, veteran as in veteran in the faith, been walking in the faith for a long time, who have been preaching the gospel for a long time, seem to have forgotten a passage about giving special privileges and prominence to one man over another because of his social status and the people that follow him you have given him special treatment you know it's not about how many people come up to the altar it's how many people stay at the altar and if you want I can actually go through and show you videos of Kenneth Copeland also saying that he accepts Jesus Christ and oh yeah Kanye he, I mean, he he fills up churches he fills up stadiums Joe Osteen fills stadiums doesn't mean those people are saved this is truly troubling indeed the only change that I honestly see is a change in those who profess to be Christians I see a change in you not in a change in Kanye. That's what I see a change in. Christians who are supposed to be on meat. Following a baby. Still on milk. You guys actually cared about the gospel of Jesus Christ. You would treat him as if he was anybody else. Now let's go through some very troubling things that show this could be a deception and before you guys say I'm unfairly judging Kanye I'm not judging Kanye I'm marking him as a stumbling block to Christians because that's what he is and until I see differently I cannot call him a brother in Christ now this Coachella on Easter Sunday was the beginning of this you guys remember the fire at the cathedral, some of that other stuff? Yeah. This was Easter Sunday. Now you can go check out some of the things that go on at Coachella. But I want to show you an aerial view from those pictures from that service. And I ask you, can you see now? Do you see it yet? Do you see a reason to maybe not just run head first into following someone just because they put out a gospel CD? <laughs> yeah, some of you guys even call out Hillsong. You ran head on into this one. You know, he said he had stage issues. And this is just one example of the many artists who were up there at Coachella. A couple images of their stage for their performance. And, you know, given his past and not trying to hold his past against him, but showing something here, to me personally, I think this was planned. And I encourage you guys to go through, check this out for yourself. And more than that, I encourage you to go through and study your Bible about what it actually says about giving one man prominence over another in church. And I ask you to take a serious look at yourself and ask if that's what you just did. So anyway, moving on. And I know to some of you guys it might seem a little unfair that I spliced in some pictures here of the Gotham Tunnel ritual. However, I'm hoping that some of you will see exactly what I'm trying to portray and say here. Or maybe some of you guys might get upset that I'm sitting here showing pictures of these poor people who look soulless and zombified. Because, well, to me, 
just like this little picture here, it looks like somebody's playing with demons. The knowledge of the tree of evil and using these things for gain and wealth in this world. If you were of the world, it would love you and receive you as one of its own. That ringing a bell to anybody? You know, here's another really weird tie that I have seen nobody address and bring up. I've heard some people talk about the prices on his clothing lines, which we'll get into that too. Because believe me, I got some slides of those. But this one right here. Kanye West and Ivanka Trump collaborate on Make America Yeezus Fascist Line. Or Fashion Line. Zoom in there for you. April 1st, 2019. All started a little ways back. And you know, in my past, I uh, <laughs> used to do screen printing. Now, one thing that does give me a little bit of insight on is a thing called markup. And I can tell you from uh, what I know, and granted, I might be going off of numbers in the past, but I can safely say that that is at least a 70 plus percent markup, bare minimum. And 70 is being gracious if that is high quality T-shirts and high quality sweatshirts, which I very highly doubt. And don't even get me started on them socks. Or some of these shoes who are designed by somebody. And what did you say, Kanye? You got to feed your family? Yeah, I know, man. Them Kardashians are, man, they got an appetite, don't they? Used to the finer things in life. I mean, I was also under the impression that the you know, Kardashians did not need your money. I thought that they had their own. But then again, I mean, I guess uh, out there in California, <laughs> Pampers and kids clothes must be expensive, right? That's why you got to put so many zeros at the end of that one, huh? Hmm. Hopefully you guys are seeing what I'm trying to say here. Hopefully you guys are actually listening <laughs> to what I'm saying here. You have given prominence to one man over another. Would you be so willingly to follow a homeless man? You know, actually turns out, I actually know <laughs> of a homeless man who lives in a tent who I guarantee you, guarantee you, actually has the Holy Spirit and is actually living in the Word. And you know the irony? He's content where he's at, homeless, living in the woods. Yeah, he's got some issues, but he actually shows fruit. He actually bears fruit. And I guarantee you, if I put him right next to Kanye, you would push him all the way to the back. or probably outside in the parking lot. But you give Kanye front row, VIP, bringing him drinks. Like I said, the only change I see is in you, those of you who profess to be Christians. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Thank you for watching Hidden Air. Let me know what you think below. One love, one vibration.